example, Saturn is one of the most famous planets in our solar system, but new evidence suggests that the most famous feature of the planet, those rings, will be gone and perhaps sooner than you think. A NASA study shows that the particles of ice that make up the rings are being pulled into the planet, disappearing at shocking rates. In fact, the rings may only have 100 million years left to go. With me now is Steve Miller, not with the band, but with the University of University and College of London, one of the authors of the groundbreaking study that discovered this, sir. Thanks so much for being with us. Is this good news or bad news? Because everyone knows Saturn because of the rings. And even at worst, if it has 100 million more years left to go, how bad is that? I don't think that's going to be particularly bad. On your list of really bad things to worry about uh, this uh, holiday season, that wouldn't be anywhere near my number one, I have to say. But we're very lucky to live at a time when Saturn does give us such a wonderful spectacle of the rings, the very detailed structures in those rings, all kinds of things going, going on there. Um, and I guess you would say that if it's 100 million years or 200 or 300 million years and they're not there anymore, then that's so much a loss for the people who will be around in that time. Uh, Professor, what, these rings, I understand, are being pulled in to the planet. Why are they being pulled? First of all, why are the rings there in the first place, all of that gorgeous, beautiful ice, and why is it being pulled in? Well, we're not absolutely sure why the rings are there. So initially, people thought that the rings were material left over from the formation of Saturn, and that would have happened, you know, something like four and a half billion years ago. Then they thought it could be due to some big impacts of uh, really large moons crashing into one another. That could have happened something around sort of four, three, three point nine billion years ago. Now there are theories that the rings are really quite young, that they're only about 100 million years old, which in astronomical terms isn't very long at all. I mean, 100 million years ago, there were dinosaurs roaming the Earth. So we're talking about relatively recent history. Um, so we're absolutely not sure quite how the rings got there. As to what's happening to them now, well, you've got two forces acting on them. One is gravity. That tends to pull everything in towards the centre, and in the Saturn system, Saturn is the centre. The other are electromagnetic forces that mean that if particles in the rings become electrically charged, and they do, they can then spin in to Saturn following its uh, magnetic field lines, and that's what this study has actually been looking at in particular. All right, and there's an alarming rate. Of, apparently, it's you know a swimming pool size worth of ice that's being pulled in every few uh, seconds or so. Professor Steve Miller with University uh, College London, UCL, one of the authors of this study.